Hello Clash fans, Trample Damage coming at you today with some clan capital shenanigans, particularly for the Dragon Cliffs. Now, if your clan is anything like, I think, probably almost every clan out there, people hate attacking Dragon Cliffs. It's almost always the last one that gets attacked because most people wind up having to use three attacks to finish that district off, and it can be an absolute pain. So what I'm going to do is show you, now this is for Capital Hall 8, but I will, or for Capital Peak 8, so I will show you uh, also for a Capital Hall 10, how the same type of attack can absolutely work for Dragon Cliffs in two hits. And I wanted some better examples. I want to say this was the default layout. I think this one had the default layout. It did have the default layout. So uh, before we jump in, obviously there's always a great opportunity to pitch the goodness of using creator code trample on stuff. And if you guys didn't check out the shop yesterday or today, depending on when I managed to post this, there's some cool stuff in the shop. And of course, if you're gonna buy any of them, use code trample. I always appreciate the support. And of course, if you get that primed now, it will still be there for the creator code trample in the gold pass purchase that you will likely wind up be making in the next day or so and of course there are a couple of good deals like i always i love the builder potions for bases that aren't max this base is max so i don't buy the builder potion but also the five dollar book of heroes and book of building combination feels like a really good value uh, i certainly don't mind if anybody wants to buy the more expensive ones using code trample but um I do always appreciate the support, so feel free to also follow me on all my other social media, blah, 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 blah. So what we're going to do is we're going to get back in here for Los Legendarios, and I'm going to show you the army that I use, and the, the general idea here is the rule of thumb is don't kill the dragons. Uh, you'll see that all the troops that I have here, so this is a default layout where the fourth dragon was not unlocked. Uh, it actually gets easier when people make their own base layouts because people tend to put the super dragons away from a lot of the defenses. Uh, but you can see here, none of my troops can destroy the dragons. So what we start with is, you know, a barbarian and a ram to kind of just open up a little bit of that compartment. And then this is the important piece right here is opening up this compartment with a couple of the rams and then allowing some rocket balloons. We get nice and close here and it's to be able to deploy in this area here. That's the important piece. And of course, it's nice to try and get into these walls here as well. But uh, once we pop that open, we can drop some graveyard spells. And I usually prefer to drop the graveyard spells after some of the barbarians and rams are dead. And then we can just drop a couple rocket balloons in on the bottom compartment, a couple rocket balloons by the blast bow, and a couple rocket balloons in this compartment here. And the first attack, really, we're just trying to push as deep into the base as we can and ideally get close to that air bomb. Because there are only two air bombs on this layout that can actually stop us. And otherwise, of course, the dragons are an absolute nightmare because they can gobble up all of our flying troops and they can eat our ground troops but those dragons have a ton of hit points and the tons of hit points that they have are a nightmare for your troops to try to take them down but if you just use the rocket balloons to pop the defenses and then some ground troops to eat your way through you don't have to deal with them so you'll see we went ahead and deployed the other graveyard spells i still have one left i think i dropped it in this corner over here yep so we've got all six of our graveyard spells down and the second attack is always going to wind up having ground troops that will start coming out We've put in our wall breaker, our rams, and our barbarians to take some of these close buildings. And then what we wind up doing is, like with the last attack, we are just dropping in some targeted rocket balloons to pick off some of those defenses. And we want to save a couple of them. Now, the nice thing about the air skellies is they will definitely wind up keeping the dragons occupied while the rocket balloons are taking their time destroying some of the other defenses. And then you get to the beautiful position like this, where once all the defenses are down, the rocket balloons are going to just zip in and target any other building and you can see here there's a lot of balloons left there are a lot of skeletons left when this attack goes down you don't have as many troops left over when that fourth uh, dragon up here has been activated but you can still do this in two hits now what i want to show you is a couple of attacks against some slightly different layouts and i want to say it was this group here is it this one hopefully I, i'm remembering the right bases um, yes so here, because they decided to put all their, and I see this a lot, people like put their walls back and they make all these extra compartments here. And this is not necessarily the most conducive layout for a ground-based army to use with the skeletons. But 
with a little bit of strategic building destruction using some super barbarians, we're actually able to push ourselves to where the, so some rocket balloons in here as well, uh, we're able to take out some of these defenses and just give ourselves access to the back side of the base where a couple of skeleton spell or a couple of graveyard spells in conjunction with see some rocket balloons coming in on the back side you can these customized layouts that people tend to make are often not great layouts because they'll bunch the defenses together and the rocket balloons are able to really punish these close bundled groups of defenses which you'll also see on this next attack uh, against the next clan but so skeleton the graveyard spells spaced out pretty nicely couple of them down here one right near the super dragon to keep it occupied got those air bombs down once the air bombs are toasted you can see up here there are no defenses left in here but a lot of skeletons are going to start coming out to start taking out some of those buildings rocket balloons in on those key defenses that are left down there a couple rocket balloons in here and they're normally able to take out those defenses without even needing to get the super dragons involved now again in this attack we didn't have all of the super dragons unlocked which is why we still have four rocket balloon camps available at the very last minute along with a couple other balloons still on the battlefield i'm telling you you have to try these armies out without anything that can damage the super dragons those super dragons have a ton of hit points i think this was the other one that had a different layout it's one thing to beat the the stable layout every time okay so here is they do have the last super dragon unlocked in addition to having made some modifications to the layout of the base and you can see i did bring in i don't always recommend bringing in a minion camp i was just looking at this and i thought hey the minions will help me take some of this stuff out so that i can pop the rest of this open which is where i started so super barbarian to get me close so that my rams can pop these walls open and a rocket balloon and minions in here on this bomb tower and i think i deployed the minions a little bit too far to the left to where the super wizard tower was able to get in and i went oh no i better spend some rocket balloons but you can also see the super barbarians trying to get to work picking off some of these other buildings here and then over here we get the wizard tower down and it gives us quick access to this compartment here we still have not placed any of the skeleton spells and the the point here was i don't like getting the ground skeletons because they're not as useful as the air skellies so uh ram over here to pop them in super barbarian to take out that camp which or that uh, little hut which gives access to the for the next super barbarian to get the army camp and then we are into this compartment very closely with our rocket balloons at this point i go ahead and deploy i think this one i deployed the skeleton or the graveyard spells which i will always keep calling the skeleton spell by mistake and then just targeting the rocket balloons as a couple in on each of these defenses just to slowly chip away at and give us access to the air bombs which we were able to get through in this one and all the you know troops are expended and we have made decent progress into the base about half of the base down and none of those four super dragons have been attacked you can see here we went with slightly fewer of the ground troops we got rid of that super minion or not super minion we got rid of the camp of minions barbarian in the corner to help pull this dragon down and then we pull in the rest of our graveyard spells and we have a whole festival of air skellies that are going to come as those rocket balloons start taking down both of the inferno towers go down we are getting in closer toward the blast bow and those defenses obviously going down as quickly as possible we want to get the the air bombs up at the top and the air skeletons you can just see how much they're distracting these super dragons the super dragons are not going for our rocket balloons because they're so busy going after the air skeletons and we as much as possible try to save some of the rocket balloons for the back end of the attack because we want to make sure that we're able to jump in quickly and do something like this where we grab the wizard tower and then that rocket balloon actually winds up just going through and finishing off the last two super dragon posts and there have been plenty of attacks that i've actually finished off with look at that all four of the dragons still alive they didn't take they took hardly any damage a couple of the flying skeletons will of course wind up giving them some trouble uh, but for the most part they stay untouched throughout the entire attack now i know what you're thinking but trample damage well, i don't know how to do that for capital hall 10 because that's where my town hall is at or my clan is at Hey, I'm glad that you asked. So I did have a chance. I did one of my bases in The Good Guys, where we do have the Capitol Hall 10, and I did have an opportunity to attack the which best clan ever. I got to hit the best clan ever using the same army composition. Only, of course, it is a Capitol Hall 10, and this is still the default layout, but you do see we have one, two, oh, where'd you go? Two, three, four, five, I thought there was one more. One, two, three, four. I don't know how to count. 
I have, oh, there's one. This one's not unlocked, the sixth one. We do have a lot of super dragons here, though. Uh, more troops, but again, it's the same general idea. Uh, ground based attack with the super barbarians and the rams just to give some quick easy access to these compartments here and then as quickly as possible we pop into and so this isn't exactly the default layout they did move their walls around a little bit here so this does make a, a slightly better challenge for us but the same general logic applies we use some ground troops with the super barbarians and the rams to get our troops in toward the core and then we start putting in our rocket balloons targeting this far compartment here making uh, inroads in toward the blast bow and the air bombs, which the air bombs in this first attack happened to go down over here by the blast bow, but we didn't get the, ex the air bombs on the left-hand side of the base over here. But we did get roughly half the base down, oh no, exactly half the base down on the first attack, to then be followed, of course, by what was the second attack to take this base down using the same troops. It's three graveyard spells plus a lightning, and then some combination of barbarians and rams. Sometimes, depending on the layout, I'll only use four super barbarians and three or four rams. Sometimes I use a bit more. They're really just to help get you inroads so that you could see like this air bombs here. We want to be able to deploy a rocket balloon as close as possible to it to take it down as soon as possible. So here we got a rocket balloon in there, manages to take that down, and we are up and running. And then, of course, we're just targeting the defenses and letting the skeletons and those few ground troops where necessary take out the rest of the defenses. And as we make inroads, you just deploy strategically a few more rocket balloons as we go. And I know that this didn't have the final super dragon post unlocked, but we do have two undeployed camps of rocket balloons, two or one, because I dropped that to make it go a little faster troops that were undeployed it's a super powerful attack you have to share this with your clanmates you have to try this out because honestly wasting time killing those dragons like they have how many hit points do these guys have super dragons of course we do have a max dragon cliff so yeah we're a nightmare for people it's a pain in the butt uh let's see super dragon post the super dragon has seven thousand hit points the super dragons have so many hit points. The blast bow has, it's basically, so each super dragon has as many hit points as the blast bow. When you think about how many troops you're spending going toe to toe with those dragons, that's why the rocket balloons along with the ground troops is a great option for this because you bypass, in this case, with six super dragons, 42,000 points of damage that you would essentially be trying to deal by the end of the attack. Please share this with your clanmates. Please make sure you're subscribed. Comment down below. Uh, I am thinking about starting a solo podcast if that's something you're interested in. Comment down below telling me that. It might give me the fortitude to go ahead and dive in. Uh, in the meantime, I do appreciate you guys hanging around to the end of the video. You are absolute legends and true fans, and I appreciate it. And we will check you guys out on the next video.